Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do an example of what's called a direct proof. So in this proof we're going to prove that if x and y are odd integers, then x times y is also odd. So let's go through the proof very carefully. So proof. So this is an if-then statement. So if x and y are odd integers, then x times y is odd. So in order to give a direct proof of a statement like this, you start by assuming this part here, always, every single time. So you start by writing something like, suppose x and y are odd integers. Now, this is exactly what it says in the problem. You can be a little bit creative uh, with your language. Uh, but if you're not sure, it's always just better to um, just copy it verbatim. Then x times y is odd. That's what we have to show. So we somehow have to look at x times y. Now, in order to achieve this result, this x times y is odd, we somehow have to use uh, our assumption. So oftentimes in proofs, the next step is to just write down what you have written down means. So write down what this means. Write down what it means for x and y to be odd integers. So recall an integer n is odd if you can write it as n equals 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. So that's the definition of what it means for an integer to be odd. So in our problem, x and y are odd integers. So then we'll just go ahead and write this down for x and y. So this means x equals, I'll use m, so 2m plus 1. And y equals, I'll use uh, n, 2n plus 1, where m, n are integers. So a quick recap, we start the problem by assuming the part that's right after the if. Okay, you can think of this as an if p, then q statement. So p is our assumption, q is what we have to show. Then you just write down what it means for x and y to be odd. So this is straight from the definition of an odd integer. Now you go ahead and investigate what it is you're trying to show. So then x times y is equal to, well, x is 2m plus 1, n is, so y is 2n plus 1, and you just multiply it out, and hopefully the result is odd. Let's see, so we'll do 2m times 2n, that'll give us 4mn, and then 2m times 1 is 2m. 1 times 2n is 2n, and then uh, 1 times 1 is 1. So this is equal to, so it looks like um, this whole piece here is an integer, and we can pull out a 2. So this is 2 parentheses 2mn plus m plus n plus 1. So this piece here is an integer. So this is equal to, to let's just say, k plus 1, where we can re-identify our k as 2mn plus m plus n is an integer. And the reason it's an integer is because it is a sum and product of integers, right? Integer plus integer is integer. This is also an integer. You add them up, you get an integer. And what does this mean? This means or this shows x times y is odd. And that completes the proof.